A tennis legend bows out as she plays her final singles match while we near the middle weekend at the Australian Open. Welcome into the break. I'm Erin Coscarelli. She reached a career high ranking of world number four, won the 2011 US Open, grabbed nine WTA titles, and reached world number one in doubles. Sam Stoser played her last singles match on Thursday in Melbourne, losing to Anastasia Pavlochenkova in the second round of the Australian Open. It was her 20th appearance at the Happy Slam, an event where she lifted the doubles trophy just three years ago. This was Sam at her very first Australian Open back in 2002. Love to see the shades haven't changed. She has taken the court in both doubles and mixed doubles down under, so there's still time to see her rip some forehands before riding off into the sunset. We will miss you, Sam. Well, after three days of all the top 10 women's seeds holding strong, some big upsets have creeped their way into the draw. Third seed, Darvinia Muguruza, hit 33 unforced errors as she went down to Alizé Cornet of France, while the number six seed, Annette Contevate, was knocked out by Danish teenager Clara Tosin. Now the men's draw saw Stefano Tsitsipas move into the third round with a four-set win over Argentina's Sebastian Baez, while U.S. Open champion Daniil Medvedev broke Aussie hearts as he got past home favorite Nick Kyrgios. 31 aces for the Russian in the victory. Thursday's action down under includes Matteo Berrettini facing teenager Carlos Alcaraz as Arenka against Svitolina, and American Seb Corda taking on Pablo Carreño Busta in round three. And that'll do it for today. Tennis Channel's live coverage of the 2022 Australian Open continues at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'm Erin Cosco.